his name. They know his, his name and they've given us a tradition. And this tradition has become comfortable for us. We are in our comfort zone. But the Father, he, he is the spirit of truth. His Holy Spirit of truth will reveal truth to all those who follow him, all those who serve him, all those who desire truth. Now let us go further. And I'm going to share something else with you. And I want you to stick with me till the end because it's going to get heated tonight. We're going to go further and I'm going to share another screen with you to show that they are aware of this and it was deliberately done. And here I have here, this is the preface of the NIV Bible. I don't currently own a physical copy of the NIV Bible. So I have the King James Bible, the very first one. And several, the house probably has about 30 King James Bibles. <laughs> but now we have the Sefer, which is a renewed name Bible that renews all of the Hebrew names. And I also have um, the BYNV. So this one, this one translates directly Hebrew. So it doesn't go through the Latin and it doesn't go through the Greek. So you don't get the holy G-H-O-S-T, which is an abomination to see. And some of the other things that you would find in some of those Bibles where it's actually wrong to, to actually say those things. But anyway, so when we look at the preface of the NIV Bible, I had to go online to get this. Now, I actually heard this from someone else. And I was telling my son with the talk we were having today about this very topic. And I was telling him, I don't like saying things without checking it. So I checked for myself. And this is the preface found, and this, this is also found in many other prefaces. I looked for it in the old King James Bible that I have at home. It's written in the old English, hard to understand, hard to read, but I couldn't find this in particular. And I'm not sure why it was not inserted, but other prefaces of other Bibles have this. And we're not going to read the whole thing tonight, but one paragraph. And, and um, you can see my screen. In regard to the divine name YHWH, so those four letters that we saw in the triangle in the Catholic picture Bible, when you put that in Hebrew, you get YHWH. Now, in Hebrew, there's no W, I think it's U. Some put V as well, but the V is also, V is Latin for U, but we'll get to that later. But YHWH, commonly referred to as the Tetragrammaton. The translators adopted the device used in most English versions of rendering that name as Lord. Now, I want us to pause here and I want us to look at one thing, device. Device, a thing made or adapted for a particular purpose, especially a piece of mechanical or instrument in electronic equipment. I'm trying to read on my screen. I should read on this one. It's too small. A plan, method, or trick with a particular aim. Saints, let us wake up. And I say this in love. When the truth comes to us, let us open our ears and listen and say, Heavenly Father, lead us. A plan, method, or trick with a particular aim. So, this is the meaning of the word device as found in the Oxford Dictionary. Hence, we can therefore say, based on what they have written, the translators adopted a plan, a method, or a trick with a particular aim, rendering, using most English versions, rendering. What does render mean? To cause, to be, or become to make. So it's important to understand that the Tetragrammaton, they did not give us a translation, right? It is They are rendering it. They adopted a plan, a method, and they, it became L-O-R-D. So they have inserted L-O-R-D in capital letters to distinguish it from Adonai, Another Hebrew word rendered L-O-R-D. Now, saints, let's look at this. We know. I'm English. Probably you watching me. Most likely you speak English. I speak English. Somebody else watching me might be speaking Spanish. I have viewers from 
um, the Philippines. I have viewers from um, Mexico, North America, all over the world when I was looking at the stats. Viewers from all over the world. And sometimes they might have to turn on the captions to put the language. But so our Heavenly Father, the creator that we worship, is he speaks Hebrew. He spoke Hebrew. The scriptures were written in Hebrew. So why is it that if I am taking something that is so holy, we know it's holy, right? And what is the harm that wherever his name was to put name and wherever Adonai is to put back Adonai? So there is no confusion. But instead, we will adopt a plan, a method, a trick with an aim, and where his name is, we'll put it in capital, L-O-R-D, and where is Adonai, we'll put small L-O-R-D. Okay? Wherever the two names stand together in the Old Testament as a compound name of God, they are rendered sovereign Lord. Now, I don't have time tonight to go into what Lord and God, these are actually when you go back to the root of these words, it's another story altogether. We'll do that. We'll cover that in another video. How words have been transformed over time. But right now we're focusing on his divine name. So they are aware of his divine name. And they have deliberately adopted a device to remove it. You know, I was listening to someone who said that. Um, in the Hebrew, and I'm going to play that clip another day because I don't want to say it off my head and get it wrong. So bear with me and forgive me. But in Hebrew, when he was going through a certain scripture, and I have to play that scripture about blaspheme, and blaspheme means to pierce through. And he was explaining that whenever you take out his name, it's actually you're actually transgressing. So this is a transgression that they have done to actually remove his divine name. Okay, and they, they adopted a device and have decided to render it, to make it so that it become L-O-R-D. And L-O-R-D has become our tradition of calling on him. But is it the truth? And at the end of this, the preface says, like all the translations of the Bible, made as they are, be, are by imperfect man, this one undoubtedly falls short of its goals. So they are letting them know, well, okay, yes, the translations are imperfect. So I want to say this to you. They admit here, all translations have their imperfection. Can you accept this imperfection? Can you go on your knees before the Heavenly Father? Don't swallow what I'm saying. Hear me out. Follow the facts. Follow the truth. Let the spirit of truth guide you let his spirit of truth prick your heart let his spirit of truth bring you to prayer let his spirit of truth draw you to him and can you accept that the translators have made an error on their part on their part can you accept that because they clearly know his name and they have adopted a device and they've rendered it and made it L-O-R-T. Is that honorable to him? Remember when I started, I mentioned when the Pope traveled to Mexico, he's called Pope Francis. When he goes to China, I showed the proof of the newspapers, Pope Francis. He goes to Russia. He goes to, to Al Jazeera newspaper, Pope Francis everywhere. Pope Francis, that title is honored, honored. So why can't the divine name of the Heavenly Father remain honored? It is not a light thing. 